Okay, that is Brandon Strzok, founder of the famous Walk Away campaign. You know him. He's a friend of uh, Newsmax, a friend of mine. I think he's great. But he got arrested in the aftermath of January 6th. He was there. He recently pleaded guilty to a uh, Class B nonviolent misdemeanor. He didn't break anything. He didn't hurt anybody. He never went inside the Capitol. But his life has been totally turned upside down uh, by the events that followed. So uh, Brandon Strzok joins us right now. Brandon, welcome back. How are you? Good to see you. How are you feeling? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for having me, Greg. I mean, let's go, Brandon. I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> you are back. All right. So listen, you pleaded guilty, uh, a nonviolent class B, nonviolent misdemeanor, disorderly conduct. Yep. You have how many months in home confinement? Uh, I'm currently wearing an ankle bracelet and I have three months of home confinement right now. So look, tell us what it was like. You know, it sounds okay. Well, look, you're not going to jail. That's a good thing. You don't have to go to prison, but you were arrested. The FBI raided your home. And uh, you've been kind of in limbo uh, ever since. Uh, what was it like? Well, it's uh, it's been a really, really terrible and harrowing year, I have to say. I mean, I'm trying to, you know, remain positive and, and get through what I hope is sort of the final stages of this, hopefully. But, um, yeah, I didn't go inside the Capitol at all. In fact, I was on the east side of the building, which is a point that I'm trying to make clear as much as possible when I'm talking to people now, because this is a a detail that's been missed a lot when telling these stories is that the violence that people are used to seeing and hearing about with January 6th happened almost exclusively on the west side of the building. I was seeing none of that over on the side that I was at. There were there was no window breaking, smashing, people scaling walls. I was uh, filming on the steps of the Capitol as the doors were open and people were walking inside. So it was very surprising two and a half weeks later when an FBI SWAT team came into my apartment at the crack of dawn, put me in handcuffs and took me to jail where I sat in 24 hour lockdown for several days uh, before I was finally released. And then this began what has been a year long nightmare, uh, which ultimate re ultimately resulted in me pleading guilty to a nonviolent class V misdemeanor charge and getting three months of house arrest, three years of probation. Uh, a $5,000 fine, $500 restitution, 60 hours of community service uh, for a first offense. And um, and I, it bears mentioning, too, that thank goodness uh, this didn't happen. But the, the government also requested as a condition of my three year probation that they have the right to surveil my phone, my bank accounts, my computer, my social media accounts, my email accounts for three years. Uh, but the judge did not grant them that. Are there any other restrictions? I mean, we know that a lot of people were kicked off social media. You weren't on social media for a while. Are you free to make a free to make a living? Are you free to resume to the best you can after this home confinement is over your previous life? That's what I'm told. And as of now, I'm going to hope that that continues to be true. But I have to be honest with you. I'm deeply concerned. I'm scared uh, because of the probation and because the jurisdiction of my probation is in Washington, D.C. I my, my personal opinion is that I'm not dealing with people who are fairly minded. Right. And who who are treating people who support Donald Trump or have supported Donald Trump fairly. And yeah. so I, I'm very concerned that once I get back out and I begin working again or even now as I begin working virtually for the next three months, um, that perhaps my conditions will be changed or more punishments will be imposed. But I'm hopeful yeah. that that will not be the case. We don't want that to happen. Brandon. Uh, we have to have you back soon, and we'd like to have a, another uh, conversation, longer uh, format, and uh, we appreciate it so much. Welcome home. Welcome back. Thank you. And to be continued. Brandon Strzok. Uh, Great check to him be out. back. You bet. We'll be right Thank back. You, Thank you,